I am um, Christian Lee. Where are you from, Christian? I am from London. Do you have a day job? I do have a day job. It's a magician. Christian, are you married? I am engaged. To who? Uh, to uh, someone who's going to be my wife. <laughs> do you have kids together? Uh, yeah, they're in the car outside, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> OK, when you're ready, off you go. OK, I'm going to need an assistant. One of you judges will be that. And it's going to be you, Amanda. <laughs> Helped up the stairs these days. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly hold the cards, uh, that's all we have to do. Even better. <laughs> Last night I had a dream. A dream that you and I would be standing together here on stage. We were holding hands. That's right, willingly. <laughs> and swaying to the music. It was a kind of out of time sway, but eventually we found our rhythm. You wanted to go all the way and name a card into the microphone. A card. Just name a card. But before you got there, there was a loud voice. It was my voice and the dream was over. <laughs> I did remember, though, the card that you nearly said. In fact, I'm going to use my mind powers. Could I have my mind-enhancing device, please? Here you go. There you go, sir. Pop this on like this. Here we go. Time to put the card into your mind. OK. Amanda, name the card that is now in your mind. The Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts, you say. If you could just take the one card that is the only card facing the other way around, take it out, slide it out and show them and live the dream. It is the Six of Hearts. <laughs> How did you do that? How I did it. It's not so important, it's how I'm going to get this balloon off. <laughs> you could just come round here and just grab me round the waist. Come on, come on! Yeah, I like that, that was very good. Show us your magic. Go ahead. We ready? Yeah. Let's rock this out. Here's the deal. I love this. So here's a, here's a paper clip. You're going to do me a huge favor. Okay. All I want you to do is say stop. Stop. OK, I'm going to cut the cards. Whatever this is, we're not going to look at it. This gets folded up, and it gets placed in this paper clip right here. Mel B, this is going to go in front of you. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was fascinated by counting cards. This isn't 100%, but hopefully you're going to notice a pattern here. We're going to shoot one out, and hopefully it'll look familiar. Ooh, look. See, there's an ace. I tell you what, all I need you to do is pull one out. You want me to pull one out? Yeah, you're going to pull a card out. All right. So you're going to reach in there and just pull one out. You got it? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, show everybody what it is. Watch. Watch, this is going to be sick. It's going to be a two. Oh. Oh, so, so, so. was that bad? Yeah, that's no, OK. Watch yeah. the eight. It's a shake. Watch the eight. See, it's a shake, and we can get the two out. See what I mean? See what we did there? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, OK. The number one trick by a comedy magician is pulled out of your, so look, there's a three. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can shoot one out of the center. Oh, look, there's a four right there. So, Mel, all I need you to do is, is just yell out, stop. Watch okay. Riffle, go. Stop. OK, take that card right there. Stop. If that's the five, that's sick. Check it out. See if we got it. That's sick. Oh, my sick. God. Wow! That's crazy. So right now, I think the six is 38 cards from the top, so we're going to kind of shoot one out here. Boom, look. Look, there's a six. Simon, do me a favor. If you watch the 10 here, <laughs> we can just cover it. See, there's the seven. Howie, you ready? I am ready. OK, say stop. Stop. OK, we need 
the eight. What do we got? What do we got? Show it right here. We need the eight for the crowd. Show it. Oh. There it is. I put a card in my pocket before we started. See, there's the nine right there. Now watch. We're going to cut these up like this, and hopefully we can find the ten, the jack, the queen, and the king. Oh, my God. There's the ten, the jack, the queen. So, Simon, do me a favor. Think of any cards you want to. Don't name it out loud yet. Okay, this is going to be this is gonna be unbelievable. You got it? Yeah. Watch this. We're going to shuffle these up. Simon, name the card you're thinking of right now. Three of clubs. Three of clubs. I did this because I thought I would go through here and not just shuffle all the cards, but take all of them and shuffle all those clubs back in order like that. No. No way. Had you said hearts, I said, what the heck? Why don't we shuffle all the hearts in order? <laughs> Had you said spades, we would have actually shuffled all the spades in order just like that. How do you do that? Before we started, we folded a card, we put it in a paper clip, we didn't look at it. The card you thought of, the three of clubs, right there for Simon in the paper clip. Thank you guys very much. I'm John Dornbach. Peace out. How do you do that? Thank you. OK, Wilson, <laughs> Richard, uh, I really wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I join you on Please. the table? Please, I would like that. Thank you very much. I don't see the end watch on the screen. What a cup of tea. I love stuff like this. Now, I have a gift here. This is a gift which is going to be for one of you judges in just a few moments, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I also have two notebooks. On each of these notebooks, I have different things written. One is for you, Amanda. Right. As I flick through, uh, would you mind reading some of these out for me? Jennifer Anderson, Madonna, Brad Pitt, Taylor Swift, Vin Diesel, Halle Berry, Emma Stone, Tom Hanks. They're all celebrities, 60 celebrities to be precise. If you could hold your hand flat for me, place your other hand directly on top and just hold it there. I also have one for you, David. Oh. This one here is a drinks menu. On every page is a different drink. Please read Cola, some out for Fanta, us. Fanta, Mojito. Vodka, rum, whiskey. I'm right now, I'm just... I'm just... If you could hold your hand flat and place your other hand on top. Now, just with your thumb, lift up, make sure no one sees, and just take a peek of whatever you choose, and then slam it closed for me. And please, could you stand up and just throw them onto the stage, because we no longer need those. Unleash the anger. Perfect. Good throw, David. OK, Amanda, we're going to start with yourself. You're thinking of a celebrity, is that correct? Yes. Thinking of a celebrity. Just stand up for me. What I need you to do is send your thoughts straight directly into my mind. I need you just with your finger, look me directly in the eye and just touch me just on the forehead there. <laughs> you felt that, right? Yes! Thank you so much. Oh now, goodness. what you've just done is Did you've you just directly that? sent your thoughts into my mind. And I'm now going to very creatively find out who you are thinking of. Now, believe it or not, before I became a magician, I spent six years in an origami intensive training centre in the heart of Japan. Just that I could be here with you guys doing this right now. Now, am I right in saying this is someone who's very particular about their hair? Yes. And I think it's probably a man. Don't give anything away, but I'm going to just... Right, that's perfect. OK, Amanda, please tell us, this wonderful audience, who are you thinking of? David Beckham. David Beckham. If I open this up, I've made something very, very special for you to keep. We have Mr. still thinking of a drink, is that correct? Correct. Would you mind now revealing to us the drink that you've been thinking of? It's the drink I'm drinking right now. Which is? A cup of tea. A cup of tea! A cup of, a cup of tea. Yeah. Now, this has been here the whole time. It's been in front of yourself, Simon. Yeah. Inside here, ladies and gentlemen, just as you asked for... Orange soda! a little bit awkward, but we can still fix this. Uh, don't panic. Could you just reach out your hand just here for me? Just send me that positive energy. Oh! What is going on? Wow. I didn't like it. Wow. I didn't like it. it. So rude. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, you've now just filled me with all of your kinetic energy, which allows me to act almost like a microwave so the can starts to heat up. Oh, come on. And it gets hotter and hotter. Please feel it. What? Feel the can. It's getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, just make sure that is a sealed can. I was do you think of one drink you said breakfast tea, was that right? Correct. 
If I open this up, ladies and gentlemen, just what you ordered. No way. Tea. Tea in a can. Please taste it. It's a proper cup of tea. Please taste it, make sure it really is tea. A delicious cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Now, there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up, so watch that close. Completely mix it up one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to Saul. <laughs> I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. <laughs> Completely empty. Can I look in it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's so Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's Cube. Well, that's incredible. That would be an amazing trick if there was not a second Rubik's Cube in the bag. <laughs> But that's not the trick. I'm being sure you're still paying attention. Simon, can you actually cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up. Perfect. Like that. Yeah. Now, when you think of a solved Rubik's Cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's Cube? Watch close. Right about... Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely <laughs> perfect match. Magic is real. <laughs> Better than one side, though. That's going to be side number two. That is three. That is four. That is five. That is all six sides a completely perfect match. Both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Before we start, we need one thing. Heidi, do you have your handbag with you? I yeah. Do. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Heidi, please take your handbag and join us on stage. <gasps> Give Heidi some encouragement. <laughs> Every time when we perform, People think there must be something in Amelie's ears, like maybe a loudspeaker or something. So to verify that there is nothing hidden, check out my ears. If there are like antennas, earphones, no. whatever, maybe little, my left ear. A little malt, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Please inspect this blindfold as well. I can take this for a second. And just make sure there is nothing inside, nothing hidden, no Wi-Fi, mm. flat screens, no. no? Or hold it against your eyes, just for a second. And just to confirm, can you see anything? Through it? Yes. No. Perfect. Now come to my right side and look for one or two objects out of your handbag and it feels like there's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Whatever you like and place it on my right hand. Hi, you already chose something. It's a small object, you can open it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick. Okay, that's correct? Yes. There is a number on it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick number 602. Is that correct? That is correct. What? That's amazing. Wow. And now, 
Ladies and gentlemen, please look in your pockets, in your handbags, in your wallets for any objects, any items you brought with you tonight. Make it as difficult as you like. Hold them up, but do not say what it is. Yes, because that is my job. Let's start with this. That feels like a cell phone. So the color. It's white. The brand. iPhone. The provider. There must be AT&T. Uh, AT&T. It's yes. correct. Oh, I was right. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> a big round of applause for Amelie. Thank you. You think that was amazing? Did you just see that? Simon, can you just have a look? There is like no camera in my sleeves. No. Nothing on my jacket, in my hair. No. All good? Yeah. Look again, any objects, any items. What about this one? You have something in your hand that there is liquid inside. I think these are kind of drops. No. And I'm pretty sure those are eye drops. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. If you have a closer look, there is an expiring date on it. Oh. There's an expiration date? Uh, yeah. The expire. There must be May 2017. That is correct. Yes. Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Amelie!